Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise a higher, everybody. Praise a higher. One more time. Praise a higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann in Yes, higher the Christ. Yes, higher the Messiah. Yes, higher of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, if you want to know why I call God a higher and Jesus Christ, yes, higher, please. I believe the video is in the pin comment section and the description box also brothers and sisters the dirty demonic scammers are back listen whenever i make a comment sister carrie and my name my name is in solid gray border solid gray border with the name sister written in white sister carrie Anne in the middle all right solid gray border all right brothers and sisters we're continuing with our prophetic theme banner or prophetic theme banner which is we are near we are near, we're near, we're near, brothers and sisters, to a lot of things. We're near to a lot of prophetic things. Things are be going to begin to happen and you just won't stop it. Distress upon nation. Distress upon the nation is coming. And we look at the divok, we look at the curse, number one, the curse number two, and the curse number three. And, you know, we just get so overwhelmed with it. But brothers and sisters, worse than the divok and the curse is going to come distress upon nation so we are near and we have a prophetic theme song a prophetic theme song a lot of little children certainly when i was very young i used to sing this song as a play song all right and it goes like this oh near you are oh near you are oh near you are oh near oh near you are oh near you are oh near you are oh near all right, so certainly, brothers and sisters, we can sing that song. Why? Because we're near. We can sing it with confidence, with all confidence, with all of the confidence that the Most High has given to us. We can sing that song because truly we are near. Okay, brothers and sisters, the Lord has given me a revelation. Because, you see, I've done a lot of videos. I've done a few videos, really, concerning pagan, wicked Christmas. And if you haven't done, seen that video, we'll leave a link in the description box. And I, and, I, and I talk about, we talk about the Christmas tree, Santa Claus, and presents, big cooking, the feast, and all of that. Oh, Lord, I forgot the scripture. Hold on one second, brothers and sisters. Hold on one second. Um, and, and uh, you know, a lot of things, brothers and sisters. Sorry. Oh, no, it's not Joel. All right. That means. All right. So I've done a done couple of videos concerning certain things, brothers and sisters, where Christmas is concerned. The festive season, and we rebuke it. We, we we say to people, look, don't have anything to do with the thing. Don't celebrate it. I know for certainty that when is Christmas? Is it Saturday or something like that? Today's what, the 20th? No, when is it? What, Thursday? Whenever it is, anyways. Whenever Christmas is, anyways. I know that... This girl is not even going to recognize the day. Because the day for me will be a normal day. Like normal day today. I'll be probably be recording my videos and everything like that. If I've got anything to record. Certainly no, I won't be typing Merry Christmas to anybody. And anybody wish me Merry Christmas, I shall not, I shall not answer. Or I'll politely say I don't celebrate the thing. But the Lord, the Lord put something in my spirit that I want to share with you, brothers and sisters, because I don't think people understand the seriousness, the, the wicked transgression concerning Christmas. All right. We look at the, we look at St. Nick, Santa Claus, who these people literally, literally, oh, the, whole, the whole thing is just so wicked. Santa Claus is a is a mimic the mocking all right the mocking yes higher with the white 
hair like wool. Why Santa Claus hair has got to be white? Why couldn't it be ginger? I'm just saying, why couldn't it, why couldn't his hair be brunette? Why? Why couldn't it be jet black? He could have dyed it or something like that. But in my spirit, I it's it's a you see you see Santa Claus is of the devil, isn't it? And anything that's of Satan, the devil loves to mimic. And what came to me as I was preparing this video, as the Lord was talking to me about the twenty fifth, is that this Santa Claus guy, this Santa Claus business, it's a mimic of Revelation, um, chapter where John describe the Messiah. When, where John described Yeshaya, especially his hair, being white as snow. Look at Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. Mimic, mocking, mocking. <laughs> hey Lord, listen, uh, yeah, I've done a lot of repenting. Because when I used to celebrate Christmas, I used to take my kids to go and sit in some Santa's lap. Thank you, Lord, for waking me up. Mimic brothers and sisters, Santa Claus and the white hair. Look how, look how, look how they make it white as a wall. What? That's not gray. That's, that's what the Bible described the Lord as. Having hair as white. As snow, is it white as snow? We yeah, are white as snow, I need to find it. But it's a revelation. We talk about the Messiah's hair being white as snow. And look at Santa Claus. Look at Santa Claus, brothers and sisters. It's a right mimic. I don't know why people celebrate that pagan day. I'm going to come to the message, but I was saying to my, my, my brother, you know, when I was talking to him the other day, and um, he said to me, oh, sis, if you're, you're gearing up for Christmas. And I'm like, uh, I don't celebrate Christmas. <laughs> oh, because Jamaicans love the Christmas. Yeah. When you say to certain Jamaican people, look, don't celebrate Christmas, it's like you're saying to them, uh, drink poison they look at you with the most you know like you're crazy you're mad you're mad christmas oh no we've got to celebrate that we we'll have to celebrate that thing so it was like you could hear it in his voice uh okay well, i said you know that i don't celebrate i've stopped celebrating christmas since i was 40 years old and i'm 43 and they were like well you know well we all grew up with christmas and I said, yeah, I said, true. I said, I, I used to love Christmas, absolutely, but my eyes are open now. I know about Christmas, so because I know the truth about it, I'm not partaking in it. Never. Not in this world, not the one to come. Let me pen drop. Not in this world, not the one to come. I would never, ever, 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 ever partake in that thing. But anyways, brothers and sisters, what the Lord was revealing to me concerning Christmas is an actual day. Forget about the Santa Claus, forget about the Christmas tree, forget about the food, forget about giving out presents underneath the pyramid, the eye of the pyramid, because that is what the Christmas tree is. You're bowing down to the thing. You go and you bend down underneath that tree. Say you're giving out present. It's paying homage. It's a type of worship. Very, very wicked is Christmas. These dirty Caesars back in the days knew exactly what they were doing. Why they put presents underneath the tree? Because they know that you've got to bend, you've got to bow to the tree. Because Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 10, talk about the Christmas tree. And this is what the people were doing. They were worshipping the tree. Now you might say, oh, Sister Karen, I'm not worshipping the tree. Me just taking out my present. But it's the act of it. Because Ahia knows that the tree is wicked and it's wrong. But to Satan, it's like, yes, they're bowing to me. But anyways, brothers and sisters, um, I've lost it. But anyways, brothers and sisters, so forgot about wicked Santa, presents, food, this and that. 
the Lord was revealing something very striking in my spirit because I've never seen it like this. It's the actual day. The actual tomorrow. Like the actual day, day, day. The Lord said the actual day, the 25th. The 25th of December is 100% an idol worshipping day. You might say, well, Sister Carrie and the Most High created every single day. Yes, he does. Absolutely. <laughs> he created the morning and the evening and the next day and the tomorrows and the future. Yes, yes, yes. The Most High, a higher in his glory and splendor. Yes, he has done that. But you've got to understand that the serpent, all right, he is a mocker and he is a mimicker. Say so myself, but what, what, what are we supposed to do? If it, so it, the 20, yes, the 25th is a high worship day when you take part in the festivity of Christmas. You see, <clears throat> if you don't take part in it, it's a normal day. Absolutely normal day. All right, but the curse grab a hold onto you when you recognize, right? When you recognize and you start to pay homage to the 25th of December. So the actual day itself is an idol worship day. Because you see, if you should go to some people and you take away the presents, you take away, like the wicked dirty Caesars in the UK, they're, they're trying to cancel the so-called pagan Christmas. A lot of people are getting upset. For me, I, I couldn't care less. Let them cancel the thing because it's wicked and it's pagan. But why? They know that a lot of people absolutely adore Christmas. They just proper love the thing proper love the thing and so brothers and sisters the day itself the Lord said the actual day is an idol worshipping day really it's wicked he, he, I think people you know these uh, oh my god some of these pastors uh, I don't know oh we lost it the devil is a liar I was just looking for my pen but I wanted to read something in Amos, Amos chapter 5. Amos, I had it a while ago. Amos chapter 5, brothers and sisters, where the Lord says that on your feast day and your, and your solemn assembly, he will not hear you. And this is the reason why... You know, this church business. We're going to church on Christmas Day. For what? Who are you recognizing on the 25th? Certainly it's not the Messiah. It's not him. Because the actual day is an idol worship day. Idol worshiping day. Very wicked. A high is a jealous. Yeah. Very, very jealous. When you put anything in front of him, before him, it's not going to go down well with you. But I think it's in, uh, I should have found the scripture. I mean, iPad is upstairs. It talks about your solemn assembly. Is it Amos 5? Ooh. Solemn assembly. Um, I'm not going to find this. I'm, I'm not going to take up much time, brothers and sisters. What I, what I will do, I'll, I'll find it and I'll leave it. I'll leave the, the, the biblical scripture link in the description box. I'll leave the biblical scripture li li link in the description box. But yeah, I wanted to find that where the Lord talks about the, the, the solar. It's in Amos, not Joel. It's in Amos. 
where the Lord talks about the solemn assembly. And he's not going to hear you <laughs> on your on your wicked feast feast day. So those of you who are saying, oh, it's the Lord's birthday. We will thank God. Christ, what is it? That's, that was saying, Jesus is the reason for the season. What a wicked lie. What a wicked, dirty lie. Jesus, yes, Haya, is the reason. Have you heard it, brothers and sisters? Have you heard the pastor saying it? Have you heard, have you heard the church folks saying that to you? Jesus is the reason for the season. Yes, Haya is the reason for the season, really? It's because if you're going to tell that lie and lie on the most high, lie on the son of Ahaya and say that Christ is the reason for Christmas, when the Lord rebukes Christmas, it's like that you're going to go to hell sorry you will you're going to go to hell for that wicked lie because christ is not the reason for the season christ is not the reason for this the reason for the season is santa claus the reason for this season is the christmas trees the reason for this season is the giving out of presents the reason for the season is a big massive feast and food and what of you the reason for the season is the gathering of the family. The reason for the season is the gathering of the church Christmas choral church service event. That's the reason for the season. Don't blame the Lord. That's just wicked. You're going to go to hell. Anybody who tells you that Christ is the reason. And if you go to church, which I, you should even, you know, don't partake in Christmas service in a way. But if you choose to go and your pastor is up there and people come to you and say, Oh, Jesus is the reason for the season. You need to rebuke them. Lack like for the strongest rebuke. Because he is not the reason for the season. Because it's got nothing to do with pagan Christmas. It's a wicked lie. But that's Satan. Nimrod is the reason for the season. That's what it is. If you want a reason for the season, go check Nimrod because that's his birthday. That's his pagan stuff. Idol worship day. The literal 25th. The only time you escape that idol curse, that curse that comes with the 25th. Because you see, brothers and sisters, the reason why the 25th is a cursed idol worship day. Watch this. Everybody on the 25th who's celebrating Christmas have a high spirit. Oh, the whole lovey-dovey. Oh, wonderful. They feel so good. Wonderful. They feel amazing. Mm. Absolutely amazing. It's a nice day. They're looking forward to it. 26, 27, that height or that hype that they had on the 25th is gone. It's a spell. The actual 25th is an idol worshipping day. Literally idol worshipping day, brothers and sisters. I, I hate it. I can tell you with confidence. Not maybe the... No. He hate the gathering of people on that day. Pretending to go to church or, you know, whatever. Saying that it is Christ for the season. Some people said, oh, well, you know, we just choose the 25th to, to celebrate his birthday. Why are you lying? Why are you lying on the Messiah? That's not his birthday. How do you know? How do you know? Do you know? Somebody said to me in the comment section when I did my Christmas video, and somebody leave a comment. I don't know if I answered them or whatever. But somebody left a comment, and they said, oh, well, <clears throat> you don't worship the 25th, but... According to you, the same to me, is that according to you, you said that the Lord was born on September the 9th, 20 AD. So are you going to celebrate his birthday on September the 9th? Uh, no, because it didn't tell me to celebrate his birthday. There were no instructions for me to celebrate and to uphold his birthday. Even though September the 9th, all right, 20 AD, right that's round about the birth of christ not december the 25th but even though i know it's september 
there's absolutely no way you see me gonna come on YouTube and say to everybody, oh, brothers and sisters, today, September the 9th, the Lord gave me a vision. We're celebrating Christ's birthday. If I ever do that, I'll be in trouble because that was not the instruction. It was just, that's my birthday. That's it. No celebration. The only thing that the Most High commands us to celebrate, really, and to uphold and to keep is the Lord's Supper. The washing of feet, the breaking of bread, the drinking of wine that remembers him. It's beautiful, beautiful sacrifice. Christ is not the reason for the season. They're lying to you. You need to get that out of your head. But the actual, I'm, I'm just trying to account. I'm not going to find that scripture in the way, brothers and sisters, but it's okay. But it was a scripture, like I say, concerning the gathering of your solemn assemblies. He hates it. It's in Amos. Absolutely, absolutely hates it. Don't want you to do it. Don't want you to celebrate it. Don't want you to have anything to do with it, brothers and sisters. But I wanted to come. And give the revelation that the Lord gave me, that higher gave me. The actual 25th is an idol worship day, literally. And like I said, the only time you escape out of that matrix of idol worshiping is when you totally blank Christmas. You're, you're totally blank. Carry on as your normal day. Carry on as, as if it was your normal day. Absolutely. So, you know, people are just getting themselves into a lot of trouble with this Christmas business, brothers and sisters. And one more thing before I go. For you to stop celebrating Christmas, you cannot do that on your own. Because it's a spirit. It's a higher has got to break that for you. It really has. Because for me, I remember the first year when I decided, when I was 40 years old, and I decided, you know, that said, the Lord gave me the strong conviction. It was hard. Because I still had a Christmas spirit in me. I'm not going to lie. Even though it told me. I still had a little bit of the Christmassy, you know, festive business going on. And it didn't went well with some family members. It just didn't went well at all. When I turned 41, Christmas is coming up. A lot of arguments. Mm, it wasn't nice. But I stood my ground. And the Christmas spirit was not in me. I was much stronger than when I was 40, when I stopped celebrating, much stronger. 42, oh, I'm in my element, absolutely in my element. That was the last year, isn't it? In my element, ignore the thing. Kids didn't get no present, nobody didn't get no phone call, no Merry Christmas, no this, no that, nothing. In my element, because I was confident. Now, I'm 43. And the wicked thing is coming up. I want to say, which devil, which devil can come in front of me right now and tell me to celebrate or to join in? You're crazy. Never. I'm much, 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 I'm, even much. I am strong. I have no festive spirit in me. I don't think about it. I don't think, oh gosh, the kids. Oh Lord, of the bad. No. Them, they, you know. What I said to my children, because my 10-year-old said to me, said, Mommy, I know you don't celebrate Christmas, because they know. Uh, but what about when we go back to school? Everybody's going to be talking about, you know, this, that. I said, Mommy, don't celebrate Christmas. I said, but I, mean, I always buy you guys presents. Not even presents. I always buy you stuff throughout the year. I always, I always, always buy you stuff. And they said, yeah. And they said, you know, Mommy, that's true. Um, I said, but... For the 25th, absolutely no present from me. You know? So, if it's a case where you want to buy your child, if you, if you normally buy them stuff and you want to buy it, you want to avoid the 25th, you want to buy them something, buy it, in, buy it in the new year. Buy it in the new year. It's fine. Give it to them. It's not a Christmas present. Or anything like that. Just buy it for them and give it to them in the new year. Avoid the 25th, that, that particular day. 
that particular day, the 25th, avoid it like a dose of poison. So, yeah, I don't see you, not me mother, nobody, 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 nobody in this world, nobody. And even if my kids were crying, mommy, please put up the Christmas tree. What about the decorate? You know what? I, I tell you this for free. I tell you this for free. But even my kids came and cried and said, please, Ma, I would, no, I would review them. A couple weeks ago, I don't know about anywhere else, but I know in Babylon, UK, I don't know why they do it. It's annoying, really. But in Babylon, UK, every so often when it's coming close to Christmas, um, they have this big, massive, decorative truck, right, that plays Christmas carol and this fake Santa on it. A guy dressed up like Santa Claus waving and it drives up and down the street and this thing was passing the house and it was so loud. It was so loud, brothers and sisters. And I thought to myself, okay, certainly the kids are going to hear it. They're going to rush to the window and they're going to say, oh, mommy, Santa Claus. Santa, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm going to have to tell them again, Santa isn't real. That is not Santa. That's just a man dressed up in a red suit with a fake beard. That ain't Santa. Santa is not real. All right. But glory be to the name of the most high. Um, I went upstairs and I said, what's this racket? Because I was in the kitchen and I went upstairs and I could, it was, the, it was so loud. This Christmas carol that were, they were playing. So it was some Mariah, Mariah Carey song. It wasn't the gospel one. It was something about baby, baby and Christmas and what have you. Um... And I thought, oh gosh, in a minute now the kids are going to come. And they didn't come. <laughs> Hallelujah. They didn't come. I don't know if they didn't hear it or whatever, but they were busy on the iPad playing the games or what have you. They didn't come. And I said, thank you, Lord. Thank you. They didn't come. Because years ago, because they do it every single year, years ago, what I used to do when I see the, 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 the so-called chariot passing, I used to go get the kids when I was younger. Come on, kids, look at Santa. And they were like, yeah, Santa. And it's all pretty, pretty sometimes. I remember it was so cold. It was so, 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 so cold. Oh, Father, please forgive me. I was silly at the time, Lord. And wicked dress up Santa were passing in their chariots. All right, these people. And where, you know, the, the, the elves were knocking on people. They were begging for money. I remember the kids, they, was, they weren't sleeping, but they were in bed. And I dropped them out, dropped the coat on, put the shoes on. Oh, I got to get Santa. I got to see Santa. And, I, you know, you just look back at that thing and you just think, gosh, how deceived you were. Oh, deceived. I don't know which devil, right? Well, well, anyway, no devil can come in front of me and tell me about pagan Christmas. I rebuke them. Absolutely rebuke them back to the pits of hell. I don't celebrate that thing. I don't even, on that day, that's just going to be a normal day for me. Ups, whatever I do, normally do house chores, cook, whatever. That's it. No Merry Christmas to the kids. Nothing at all. They're probably going to know because they're going to probably speak to their friends and whatever. And they're probably going to come and say to me, Mommy, it's Christmas today. Yeah, fine. Wonderful for you. But not for me. Because I'm not going to celebrate it. <laughs> but they're young. You understand? They're very, very young. And, um... Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's tough. It's tough when other people celebrate the stuff and you don't. And you've got children, it's hard. But a higher knows how to work it out. And, you know, and he will deal with the children's heart. He will, because they're growing up. And they'll, and they'll know the truth and they understand. The greatest thing is that they understand that mommy doesn't celebrate christmas and once they understand that they accept it and that's very very good so once they understand that and they accept that once they get a bit little bit older they will understand the real reason and the whole shilanga bell behind christmas they will but they're young at the moment all right but yes brothers and sisters so be bold be strong be courageous walk with a higher 
just like Enoch, all praises, all beautiful praises to the Most High, a higher who lives above the heavens, a higher eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon, someday in glory. In yes, highest holy name, amen and amen. Let's say the benediction together. It is Jude chapter 1, Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory, with exceeding joy, to the only wise, yes, higher our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.